Hey, it's James speaking, TrainingSites.io. Uh, you're into this AI stuff. You just want to take advantage of all the cool tools. You're probably wondering, how can I do that with my WordPress site? I'm all in on building out a privately branded campus, James. I understand what you're doing. I'm putting all my content in there. How can I connect it to things like the AI tools like Claude and ChatGPT? Well, I want to show you how easy it is, and more importantly, some of the cool things that you can do that are like giving that junior employee jobs to take care of so that you don't have to bother with it. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna show you uh, two of the MCPs or model context protocols that I have set up and that I'm using in and on my privately branded campus. Now remember the way that this kind of fits in. I've been talking about creating a community library that's space for all your content been talking about building out your classes or your live teaching stuff. And then also the campus, which is about doing all of the marketing, administration, billing, all of that stuff that goes involved in starting, building, and growing an education business. So uh, MCP is just a fancy way for saying, if I'm Claude or ChatGPT, Claude introduced it, but if I'm here and I wanna connect to another tool, to maybe have it do something or collect some data from it. It just has this little connector that's MCP and it's just like an assistant that Claude says, hey, I want this. So it goes and talks to the other piece, gets a response back or does something and then they talk to each other. And what's really cool of course is that Claude and this MCP protocol that is the kind of industry standard now, it's connecting to all sorts of things. And in my case, I've got it connected to the important parts for me. What are they? Well, the first one is, if I go and open up my trainingsites.io campus, and I'll open up one here on a new, uh, new page so that you can actually see it, um, is I have Claude is connected to the trainingsites.io uh, campus. And what you'll see are two things. The one in the bottom right here is that I have an AI powered, chatbot that is in and on my campus now. And the way that this one works is two things. The AI, in this case, is, I think I have Claude or ChatGPT, one of them is hooked up. But what happens is this particular chatbot runs, <coughs> excuse me, on the information on the page it's on. That's the first part. The second part is, is that I've also been using it and training the chatbot based on all of my data, tutorials, documents, events, posts, everything that I do on my website is all being uh, captured and or organized in my website. It's available to the chatbot. And it's a little plugin called AI Engine. That's the one that I have it connected. Uh, so that's the first part. Anytime you use a chatbot, it's responding based on the training that's in here that is basically from my community and from my campus. Now, the other new key, neat thing that AI Engine does is it also has that MCP connector. And what that means to me is that if I go to Claude, in this case for an example, and I go, basically I can open up Claude, and if you don't know where the MCP connectors are, this isn't a course on how to connect them, I have them connected all but already, but to show you what this is about, and I've showed this in a couple other videos, when you're in Claude, if you look in the bottom where the chat little box here, you'll see that they have search and tools. If I click it, you're gonna see that there's a whole bunch of connected tools. One of them now is Content Studio MCP, which is my social media posting service. And I also have AI, AI Engine, which is my WordPress site. So these ones are connected. The ones you can do right off the bat that come with Claude are Instant Messages, File System, Chrome, Calendar Search, Gmail Search, Drive Search, Web Search. And in fact, there's a whole bunch of additional ones that can be added just by going and in my case, and let me go and see, we go to settings. On the left-hand side, there should be one here about connectors, which are all the ones that we've kind of connected here. Uh, and if you wanted to do one, you can browse them or add a custom one. And I added a custom one for Content Studio and AI Engine. Those plugins or service, you just have to find out if they have an MCP connector and you're good to go. 
So I've got one there. We're going to go back to the chats where we were. And at any time, I can just basically go and open it up and um, and just say, tell me about tell me about my blog. So it's going to basically go in and it's going to ask the blog, what the heck's in there? What do you got? What are you working on? Tell me how many posts are there. What are the things that are doing? So it's talking to the WordPress site right now, the one that I connected it to. And it's giving me some blog stats and some information. This is just telling me that, hey, we're connected. We're good to go. So it picks up all of the stuff that I published it, how I've got it unique, core content pillars. I didn't ask for this. It's just basically giving me a snapshot of it. So think of it this way. This is an employee that is being trained on the content that is directly within my site and it recognize it when recognizes it and has context when it's doing any additional features. So here's the cool part. What this means with MCP publish drafts instantly, turn any of your tutorials into blog posts, repurpose old content, create social campaigns for each post, build content series automatically, keep your publishing consistent. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm just going to say, give me 10 examples on how I can leverage, uh, leverage I'm just basically saying, hey, what can I do with Claude and my WordPress site? I asked for 10 examples. So I recorded a four to five minute video about AI creation course. Here's the transcript. So I basically do a YouTube video, which is what I've been talking about. It creates the blog post with key takeaways. It builds a tutorial with all the fields, duration, video length, transcript that's there, generates three docs to put into my knowledge base. Common questions creates five social media posts, all published and organized in five minutes. So I want you just to think of that right now. And as much as having a post or a plug, uh, pardon me, a prompt is really great. And the fact that you can have these other tools and maybe a service that you use that create these individual pieces, all I'm doing right here is I'm creating a YouTube video and it is doing the rest. I'm handing it off. I'm handing it off to Claude to do that repurposing part. What about if I need to analyze something? Uh, content gap analysis and creation. So what topics am I not covering that my audience needs? Analyze the 50 blog posts, pick up mi mi missing topics, write and publish the first five spots, maybe publish them, receive them as draft, organize them with proper categories, tutorial to blog pipeline, Turn my last tutorials into blog posts, done straightforward. Product launch campaign. I'm launching a new course about prompt engineering on Friday. Create the complete campaign. It's done. WooCommerce products with compelling copy. Five supporting blog posts. Three better doc articles. Generate two weeks of social content for Content Studio, which is the other one I have done. Create a landing page using Elementor templates. Schedule everything to go live at launch. Content refresh strategy, document of community questions, SEO optimization uh, blades, product description overhaul, content series builder, emergency content creation. Okay, so all of these things are replacing me have to open a WordPress, create a new post, write the content, format it, add categories, add featured image, write meta descriptions, publish, Social media posts, all of these things are now done for me and they're done directly within Claude. So if I just wanted to say, and let's post one of those right now, just to give you an example. I'm just gonna put this one in. I'm just gonna say, um, let's do this one. Just uh, Claude launched version 4.5 this week, right, and post three articles I can use to introduce it. Let's see what happens. So I'm basically giving the task off to Claude here. It's going to go and do it. So 
Let me create three articles about Claude. Article one, the main announcement post. It's going and it's creating the post. So it's going out to my site. It's the one that is actually creating the post. I can go and do some other work now. I don't need to bother with that. It's being done on my behalf. If I want it as a draft, I might want to go check it. Hey, we're all good there. Don't have to worry about it. And it actually shows you the work that it's doing, right? Going through the formattings there, the bullet points, extended content, all of the material is there. And again, remember that this brand new version of Claude has an extended memory and is much better at stringing together the consistencies between all of the work that it's doing. So article one is published, article two with a practical angle of it, and it's through. So while that's working in the background, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go open up my WordPress site and we'll take a look and see what it's come up with. And again, this is just an example of what we might wanna do. But if I go to trainingsites.io and we'll just see if it's on the blog page, I'll open it up and five ways to use Claude 4.5 in your course creation workflow today was done October 1st. I'm going to open it up and we now have an article that is actually written and ready for us with five points. Bonus, fix it, real difference you'll notice, getting started, your turn. So um, again, I didn't have to go anywhere else. I'm directly within my AI tool, uh, and this is actually all being done. I also have connected Content Studio, which is the other tool I was talking about. This is the one that I use uh, as well as one that's built directly into WordPress. This one is a little more robust and done some additional features, but it's the exact same thing. If I just said, hey, go and create 25 tweets or three Instagram posts or five LinkedIn posts regarding the launch, it's going to go and do it, schedule it, and it gets plugged into the way that I've got my social media tool put up together. So these two are connected with MCP. What are the other ones that you can connect to? This is just a practical, real simple way that you can leverage AI to offload all of the stuff you don't want to do and then get the maximum benefit of all of the time saving that you would necessarily have to have spent doing that busy work that we all hate to do. So hope you enjoyed this. Take a look at this uh, video when you're going through it. Just try and figure out what are the tasks that I need to do or what are the things that I don't like doing that I still need to do, whether it be on the prep work or admin or the content creation work, or on the other side, if it has to do with the marketing administration and growth of your campus. MCP is there to help you out uh, and I think it's a real, real, real important task, especially when we get into these additional agents and avatars in 2026. We're going to take our availability and take it to the next level. This is James speaking, trainingsites.io. Like and subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. I'll be here to help you start, build, and grow.